Hong Kong's Shengwen district sees bustling crowds flood its streets every weekend. If you're looking for seafood, its markets have delicacies from swim bladder to dried octopus to sea cucumbers. But the prize products here come with a reputation all their own. The elderly want to give the good things to the young people, so shark fin is one of their dish. Always prepared as soup, shark fin is believed to have healing properties. Well, look at me, I'm 80, and I can still stand up straight. I don't have a bad back, and that's thanks to the soup. It's good for the bones. It contains calcium and collagen. The shop sells about 50 fins every day. And their popularity with the Chinese makes them an essential part of both holiday meals and special occasions. It's just like the fava, as the French, to treat their family the most beautiful, delicious. 10,000 people make their living off the back of the industry in this one street alone. Lung Wing Chin comes from a long line of shop owners dating back two centuries. When he can, he likes to choose his wares from suppliers himself, where he has a choice of hundreds of fins from around the world. Look, these fins come from the South Pacific, and these ones from Latin America, Brazil, Mexico, and so on. All of this is worth about two or three million Hong Kong dollars, about 360,000 euros. That may be the cash cost, but what about the environmental price? To feed China's hunger for shark fins, the fishing industry takes more than 50 million sharks every year. Hong Kong is the center of the market, where tons upon tons of fins can be seen drying out on rooftops before being sold on elsewhere. With the sea's apex predator now itself under threat, the question is how sustainable the shark fin trade really is. One in four shark species is endangered. In Hong Kong, there are growing calls to protect them. It's, it's so popular that the shark population can't support this market anymore. That's why we have to change our culture and we have to change the industry. Airlines are already refusing to transport shark fins, and even the Chinese government has banned them from official meals. A sign of the times, they're not even on the menu at this wedding, despite the presence of other traditional dishes. It's expensive, so if they have it in their wedding, so it is uh, a kind of show off or people think that uh, I'm rich. So nowadays people don't care. A tradition then in decline, with 90% of young people here today in favor of a total ban on shark fin soup.